welcome back to all the collector me jason this is just a very quick video because i've just come back from the invert show at coventry and i've just had the best time uh, i just wanted to go through my purchases i will do sort of more videos on these at a later date and all that i haven't ha got a great deal i've been really quite good i've been really quite good i didn't i didn't go mad i could have i could have spent silly money chris chris trying to get me to buy a 300 pound mystery box you little bugger but it's lovely to meet you mate lovely to meet you and i'll be in touch but i met loads of people and i apologize if i can't remember all of you but i there was just so many i, I just didn't realize how how many people I, i've met in such a short space of time and also old face as well martin it was brilliant to chat to you martin and listen to about your future travels i can't wait to to see your posts on that haiti and all them places are incredible incredible journeys uh and obviously my mate john john you're on spider shop i did come back through mate before i left but you were buried and it was busy so i i didn't want to disturb you uh, so I do apologise. I, I didn't say goodbye before I left. Uh, Natalie, the fantastic Natalie at Enclosure. It was ace to see you. Likewise, my little Lingy Bling who was with me in the queue and kept me company and I bumped into her a couple of times later and uh, as, as I left, actually. And Sharon, nice to meet you as well, Sharon. It's the first time I've met you. And to the couple who were in the queue who were on Mark's live stream, who, who were chatting with them from Manchester. Sorry, guys, I told you I'm used to bloody names, but lovely to chat to you. I did take a photograph of you, though. Uh, and Mark, yeah, saw Mark there as well. And lovely to see you, Mark, and chat to you, and, and obviously to meet you at last. Oh, crikey, who else? Obviously, Lee. Danielle and Scott at uh, Portsmouth Tarantulas, because I haven't seen you guys in about six, seven years. Last time I saw you, I was actually helping on the store with Aaron and Aaron. I mean, Aaron would have been, what, 13, 14 then? And Dave, Dave's little beast, had a really good long nat with him. Scott, great to meet you at last, mate. Absolutely superb. Can't wait to chat to you again soon. Um, Ian, Ian from, Ian from Backmore Breedings. And Graham, yeah. But Ian, fantastic guy. I'll show you in a bit. He won one of my he won one of my Saba Reds and spent ages chat with him. And he actually gave me a little present, which I'll show you in a bit because it's buried in all these bags. Because I'm going to go through what I got from the show. Uh, Leah saw Leah there and Ellie and oh Amy, Amy came up and loved to see you, Amy. And oh the guy who I can't remember your name now. There was to everyone that I met there, that I spoke to and chatted with. It was lovely to meet you all. I'm sorry if I haven't said you or remembered you, but it was lovely, lovely, lovely to meet you all. I can't wait to go to my next show. I don't know which one that will be, but yeah, it was fantastic. If any of you have ever a chance to go to one of these shows, I really recommend you go. Uh, I mean, this Coventry one, it was run so well. The place was a little bit of a nightmare to find, but um, I ended up trying to get into the Coventry football ground uh anyway <laughs> God, i think coventry football team haven't got a lot of money because they've got the most awful drive down to their entrance gate that you can barely barely squeeze to graze my bloody alloy getting out of there uh anyway but it was fantastically run big open venue well organized all the stores had plenty of space and even so even though it was busy you could get around quite well and there's so much stuff there guys there is so much stuff there it is incredible and everyone is really friendly and helpful. And honestly, if you get the chance, even if you don't keep inverts, if there's one near you, I recommend you go take your kids, whatever. It is a really good day out. So thank you to people that organize that. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm on a massive high. And you'll see, I haven't spent, like, you'd think me, I'd spent a fortune that I didn't. I was really, really well behaved, really well behaved. Did spoil myself a little bit on one thing, which I'll get to. And in all fairness, since I've come home, no, I'm not going to tell you what I did when I came home. I'll save that. Uh, okay, let's go through what I bought. I, I, I can't remember where I got all these from. Um, so for me, I got myself, because Chris forgot to bring them, uh, I got myself some Red Runners. So there's some medium-sized Red Runners there. They're mainly for my Bell 4, as those are. I also got some tiny Red Runners, which are for, I'll show you in a minute what they're for, but they're also for the bell for this. And also to go, they'll all go in the big tub. So plenty of Red Runners, live food. I also got from Lee at Spider Shop, another Orb Weaver, which I'm gonna let go when it gets a little bit bigger. I, I'll get better pictures and stuff of these guys and, and show you them when they get a bit bigger. Yeah. But this is a different species to the two species I've got. So thank you ever so much, Lee. Um, so I've got three species now of orb weaver. This one's got a fantastic album, but it's too dark now. I will, 
I will film different footage on all these things later on, guys, anyway, because the one orb weaver's living quite happy. But this this is a beautiful... I love these orb... I love these orb weavers. So I've got that. I've got myself <clears throat> two tubs of spring tails. These are all to go in the Balfouri commune upstairs. So, yeah. Although I don't quite know how I'm going to get them out of the tubs because I don't want to tip these in there. Anyway, that's a problem for another day. So I've got two springtail cultures there. Um, I got... Oh, yeah. I booked the Ads and Sharon as well. Sorry, Ads and Yeah, sorry, because they gave me that. Thank you ever so much. So Sharon won uh, on my live stream. So I, I literally bumped his name straight in the car park. So I was able to say, lovely to meet you too as well. So, yeah, that. Um, this is off... Ian Tarantula, who won, who won one of my subreds, and he gave me this. This is from his own breeding. He gave me an Ornatus link. So there we go, free, completely free Ornatus link. So thank you ever so much, Ian. Really appreciate that. Massively generous of you. And then this is off um, Charlie because I met Charlie. You're talking to him for ages in the queue as well. This is a, is it Devon? Was it Devamanthia? This is actually for Lydia. So Lydia, I got that off Charlie. So there's a Devamanthia in there, Devamanthia sling in there. And that was off Charlie. So Charlie, you need to message me because I need to pay. I'm not paid you for that yet. And then this is also for Lydia. Uh, Chromacopelma cyanoff pubescens, green bottle blue, green bottle blue. And that was off Portsmouth Tranchers. Yes. Then if you could see that, Lydia, but I got you a good size one. Didn't get your little sling. That was the only one they had. That was the only one they had. So I got you that. So that's that's Lid. That's that's off me, Lid. So that's because you won that. Um oh yeah, Sharon, Sharon gave me one of her one of her stickers. Thank you, Sharon. Um and then, so that's all that lot. I then got, and I can't wait to show you all this. Now, this is my very first ant farm. So there's all manner of stuff here. So I got this from Ant HQ. Ant HQ. I got a nice little bag there. So I've got my. I'll do a separate video on this. I've got my little ant farm thingy me jig in there, enclosure environment thing to start them off in there. And I actually bought. Well, a starter colony of the of the jumping ants. So these these are actually these are predators. These actually hunt live food. So you have to give these live food, and they like jump and pounce, and they actually they sting them. Uh, they've actually got like a stinger which they sting them with. Um, Scott was telling me all about these, so I don't know if you can see these or not, guys. But there they are. Look at them. Aren't they fab? It was that having watched Scott do a video on on these on on ants that I I started because I was chatting to to the lad there and I said in sort of the six years I've been away from the hobby, I said I've come back and all of a sudden out of nowhere, isopods are like everyone's everyone's keeping isopods. I said and then and now recently very recently ants have come into it. Whereas I'll be honest with you guys, I've got zero interest in keeping wood lice. Um, the ants do appeal to me, and I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on ants and the, and the number of species you can have and how you can watch the colony grow. I'm really quite keen with it, and and um, yeah, and now I've got someone whom I know can make me fantastic enclosures. I hope you're watching this now. Um, I can look at doing something with these as well, which I, and I, I just think these are going to be amazing things to watch so but that's it that's my haul so i've not done too bad the thing so. i've actually bought is one true spider and an ant colony i haven't bought one tarantula for myself no i was walking out there and i was thinking put your stuff in the car go back in and buy a bloody spider for christ's sake you haven't bought one but no super self-control super self-control so yeah there we go. Um, as you can tell, I'm really hyped, guys. I've had such a good day. It was lovely. Like I say, if I've forgotten your names, please don't think I've forgotten your faces. I haven't. I had the best.
best time today, the best time today. It was lovely chatting to so many of you today and to have people come up to me and say, oh, you're Horn Detector, um, was, was fantastic. And yeah, you know, it, it was just it was just great. And I was showing some people. I mean, I, I've been trying to keep my enclosure upstairs. How I've set it up as a, as a secret, but I must have shown about 10 people today the photograph of it. Uh, and everyone was like blown away by it. So that's that's really good to get all that mega feedback. And um, yeah, to all of you people whom I spoke to about baboons, please get in touch with me because that's my next area I'm moving into. I'm, I know that you've got them, mate, so I'll, I'll, I'll chat to you anyway. But I think it was Charlie. So, yeah, need to have a chat with you, mate, as well. So I have got some baboons coming, which you know because I told you in the queue. Uh, right, guys, listen, this is a quick one. My throat's dry. I've had nothing to eat yet today apart from a banana. It's It's gone 4 o'clock now. I've been up since 6, well, before 6, actually. Um, yeah. As I said at the start of this video, if you get a chance to go to one of these invert shows, go. Honestly, go. You, you, you'll have such a good time. Uh, huge thank you to the people that organised it. It was it was all run so well. Not, great venue that is as well. They're absolutely fantastic venue. I'll certainly go there every time you hold on there. Um, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to go. I'm going to have my brew because it's going code over there. And I'll speak to you all on the next video. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, click a like and I'll speak to you all soon. So from me, Jace, ta -ra! Woo!